So here, here we go. Wordy word problem. We want to know, do men talk less than women? You might have your own ideas about this. But what is going on here? The accompanying table gives results from a study of the word spoken. There's that table. By men and women. Then they tell you where the data set came from and the book that it came from. Use alpha beam point zero one significance level to test the claim that the mean number of words spoken in a day by men is less than for women. Oh, so what's first? We first need to depend, or we need to decide, if they're independent or dependent, because that's going to change our test stat. This is independent, because the men and the women are independent of each other. This isn't paired data or anything like that. Now what? We're going to set up our null. We're going to assume that they speak the same number of words in a day until we're able to show that the men speak fewer words, because that's what they said right there. They were wondering. They were wondering the claim. Less than women. So then here we go. Do we know our standard deviations? No! Uh, they're samples. Bam! S1, S2, and because it's sample, we're using T. Oh, 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 I think they like T. It's from the dirty, dirty south. You wouldn't know. So what? We go to our T chart, and we look up the number of degrees of freedom. Woo! Okay. And for the purposes of our book, it's the smaller one. The smaller... Which one's smaller? 186 or 210? There is an official one, but this is for an intro stat class. So, the degrees of freedom are 186 minus 1, which is 185. So on our chart, we go down to 185 degrees of freedom, and then they go to alpha equals 0 0.01, or we could have used technology. Hey, yo, I'm tired of using technology. And we see that IT is going to be at minus 2.37. All right. So let's go and get our test stat. Boom. Ah, stop it. Oh, back that math up. La, la, la. Amateur. Amateur coming through. Okay, here we are. Boom. I test stat. It's going to be this guy. So what? We go and we plug stuff in. That's what's going on over here. But I should mention that in our null hypothesis, mu1 and mu2, they were the same. So if you subtract two things that are the same, that's going to be zero. And then that's why I didn't put them here in my calculations, because I'm writing all big with the crayon. So I throw these guys in there, boom. And now it's all about the calculator. You want to pound that sucker out. We're putting them in the appropriate places. Don't make me put you in your place. We pound it out and we find that our T is, oh, minus 0. 0.68. Great, wait. Let's go look at where that is. Boom, right there. Does that land in the reject region or the fail to reject region? fail. We're going to fail to reject the null. So what does that mean? I mean, seriously. Uh-oh. What happened? No. Oh, okay. Now you want to do all that. All right. Fine. Back that math up. Seen it. Seen it. What does that mean? I think I heard it at the beginning of this video. There isn't sufficient evidence to, warrant. to reject to warrant <laughs> rejecting the claim. The sample. That men talk less than women. That men talk the same as women. The same as women. Yeah, we weren't able to show that they were different. So, Darn. yeah, <laughs> equality for all. <laughs>